guys welcome welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video so year 2020 is going to end very soon december is here and i can't believe that december is already here but i can't wait for year 2021 to start uh, but before that we need to do the year end favorites like every year so i thought like let's kick start uh, those videos do the year end favorites so i am going to start my favorite eyeshadow palettes uh, videos so i thought of filming this videos in different categories uh, so this year we are going to do it a little bit differently uh, and there will be five videos in this favorite palette category so today we are going to do favorite eyeshadow palettes for everyday glam simple glam looks if you are not into uh, like very colorful or very glittery glamorous eyeshadow palettes you are just a basic eyeshadow palette lover then these are the palettes for you and similarly i will be doing uh, this video in other categories as well i will list down all the categories and i will link all the videos uh, eventually so tomorrow the video will be up on my other channel so there will be five videos this week hopefully and they will be on both this channel and my other channel as well so let's get started with today's video today we are going to do favorite eyeshadow palettes for everyday glam looks okay so i have five palettes in front of me and it was very very difficult to choose these five palettes because i do have a lot of these kind of palettes but i have chosen the five of my favorite ones uh, five of the most used ones and five newer ones uh, to my collection okay so we will go price wise and uh, from the highest to the least and i have tried to include uh, drugstore products in each category so in case if you don't want to spend too much on eyeshadow palettes you will uh, still have an option in these uh, videos okay so the first one and the most expensive one which i'm mentioning today is kind of a surprising one because it was once in one of my disappointing products list but i can't believe how much i use this palette okay so this one is from pat mcgrath labs and this is the subliminal platinum bronze palette this is one of the smaller six pan palettes which i had purchased last year and i had mentioned it in one of my disappointing products list because i was expecting the shadow uh, eyeshadows to be something else uh, because pat mcgrath eyeshadows are really really raved about and i didn't find like something truly truly extraordinary about the formula so still till date i will say that yeah this is a pretty expensive palette and i wouldn't recommend this for the full price because this retails for around 99 singapore dollars here uh, in sephora but if you get this on a sale or you have been eyeing this product or if you really want to splurge on this palette then i would say this is a really really nice palette so this is how the packaging looks like uh, my packaging is a little broken this one has come off okay so i just open it like this there goes my shade names and this is how the inside of the palette looks like okay so you get these shades in here it's more of like a neutral cool toned palette and i love wearing this on a day-to-day -day basis you have a deeper brown shade and you have uh, four metallic shades in here uh, this one this one this one and this one which have different tones uh, they are very different from each other there are some two cool tones which i really, really like one is a mauve color and one is like a more uh, taupey sort of a shade you have a warmer color right here and you have a plain champagne sort of a color right here which is good for just highlighting in the inner corners and then there is a shade which is very interesting it is more of a subtle shimmery top coat kind of a shade it doesn't have too much pigment so this can act as a topper uh, so there are just six shades it's pretty expensive for just six shades but i think the shadow quality of all of them are just superb very very easy to work with you hardly take any time to create an eye look i just quickly uh, use one of the metallic shades uh, right here and applied all over the lid darken a little bit with this brown or sometimes i just wear the metallic shade just on their own and the eye looks so so pretty i mean uh, these are very wearable sort of metallic shades you can even wear them to work or just formal parties events or if you are not too much into shimmers or very intense metallic shades uh, these are nice and not too intense they are on the bit more of a subtle side so there is nothing too extraordinary about this palette but all the shades just work so so well so in case you are someone who likes subtle 
uh, subtle eye looks, subtle neutral eye looks, you might really really enjoy this palette. So for that, I wanted to mention this. Okay, the next palette is also going to be a cool toned palette. Yeah, I can't help it. I do really like my cool tones and I reach for them a lot, especially this palette and the previous palette I showed you. Uh, so the next one is the ABH Sultry palette and look at the packaging. It's so so beautiful This is what I have on my eyes today as well I have used this palette to create this very simple eye look and I love this palette It's such a good palette and you get so many variety of tones in this palette I love the inclusion of black and a deeper brown the black also I have used as a liner It's very very pigmented love some of the like a coppery bronzy taupey tones in here all of the shades are they just work so so well on my skin tone so i will highly highly recommend uh, this palette love the silver too i never thought i could pull off silver eyeshadow uh, but the silver this one which is right here in this palette it works so well together especially the silver with the black and some of the brown in the crease it also has like a high light highlight color so this is a very all-in complete palette if you are a neutral eyeshadow palette lover you have a complete palette here you don't have to go anywhere uh, love the smoky grungy uh, tones in this palette they don't look too out there you can build them up to make it more intense if you want to but i just keep them very subtle like today also i have a very very subtle look and i have used this gold shade right here uh, it looks quite intense in the pan but when i blend it uh, on my eyelids it looks very nice and subtle so i think the formulation of this palette is great the uh, metallics are very very smooth they work great with the brush as well and if you apply the metallics with the brush they are just going to apply very very smoothly without skipping or any kind of chunkiness they just give a very very nice sheen to the eyelids so which i love so definitely this is one palette i will totally recommend this is still available it was supposed to be a limited edition palette i think but it's still available and it is one of my most used neutral eyeshadow palettes for every day next i have a newer palette from too faced so this one is the born to run eyeshadow palette from too faced look at the packaging the packaging is also really really nice i mean this is just so handy you get so many shades in here but it is very very handy very lightweight and love the sleek packaging this is how the palette looks like you get a nice size mirror in here how many shades do you get here so you get 16 shades in here i mean it's like totally packed palette with 16 shades but in spite of it having 16 shades it is just super super compact okay so these are the 16 shades you get here what i love about this palette is that there are some very wearable rosy tones in here as well there is no deep berry or uh, very intense uh, colors in here but you get some very pretty subtle pinks and rosy tones which also work great on my skin tone and you have some warmer browns uh, and a deeper brown right here some lighter tones here just for highlight and there are some beautiful metallic shades uh, in here i also like the fact that the matte shades have bigger pans so in case you are a, you are a matte eyeshadow lover and that's what you wear on a regular basis you get a lot of matte shades and metallics are in the smaller pans because sometimes people don't use metallics uh, on a regular basis and they use mattes so i really liked that about this palette and the metallics are also really really pretty some of them are very uh, sparkly and iridescent as well uh, they are nicely pigmented but they have that very unique dimension about uh, them the only thing is that the metallic uh, formula has a little bit of a different texture i feel so they are not very easy to pick up with brush at least with the brushes which i have used so you'll have to use your fingers a bit to blend out the metallic shadows uh, they are a little firmly pressed or the texture is a little different uh, that's about it but i don't find any issue working with this palette if you just want to have one palette for everyday use i think you can go for this palette because it has range of shades and if you're close to my skin tone all the shades uh, work pretty well on uh, me okay next is a different sort of a everyday palette if you don't want browns or very cool toned shadows and you want something different go for this one the huda beauty haze palette this one is a khaki one and this is such a great palette for everyday use i have been using it a lot lately and i love it for everyday the shadows are superb quality and you get some warmer tones here as well 
and some cooler olive like khaki tones uh, basically and the metallics are also very uh, very sparkly very pretty i love the tones which are in this palette the warmer tones they work so so beautifully uh, with the cooler tones which are available in the palette you can use the matches just for a all over eye look uh, like one color eye look all the matches work great on my skin tone love these two shades these khaki tones uh, that olive green grungy tone and love the metallics in this palette they are super super pretty they have a slight bit of sparkle to them as well uh, they are not chunky they are very very smooth and it's very easy to create just a very neutral eye look but it's a little bit unique too so that i really like about this palette so i will definitely recommend by the way if you want a more detailed review on this palette then that review video is up on my other channel i will leave that in the description box and that also reminds me that i haven't mentioned the price of the previous palettes uh, since i was going price wise so the sultry palette is around uh, 75 singapore dollars here and the two faced born this way is also around the same price i think this is around 74 singapore dollars or something like that or 67 uh something like that okay and the khaki haze you can get it for around 36 singapore dollars if you buy it from cult beauty here in singapore it's around 45 uh, singapore dollars okay the last palette is a drugstore palette and this is merely like seven to eight dollars uh and this i will highly highly recommend if you don't want to spend on any of the high, other high-end palettes this is a really, really good one from makeup revolution this is the reloaded velvet rose palette it's supposed to be a dupe of the soft glam palette i don't have the soft glam palette i have this one and i really really like the quality of this one so i will highly recommend this this is like your everyday friendly neutral palette with a lot of tones you get some warmer tones you get some neutral tones and you get some very very pretty metallic shades in here which are different from each other they are not very similar so you can create a lot of looks the quality of this palette at this price is amazing i mean when you wear this palette you won't be able to tell if you're wearing the abh sultry or the abh soft glam or makeup revolution i mean the quality is that good especially the metallics i think they are really really nicely pigmented very smooth they are very very close to the abh shadows just that the mattes i would say that the abh has better mattes uh, they are more pigmented they blend much better uh, but the metallics are very very similar the mattes are also not bad they are also very very good in this palette they are very buildable mattes so definitely i will recommend this palette too very very pretty colors in here there is just one shade which is a little bit sparkly which is this one uh, which is that gold shade right here it has a different sort of a texture so that one you will have to use your fingers a little bit to you know get uh, most use out of it the other metallic shades are pretty good very smooth and they apply very nicely on the eyes especially i want to mention this shade right here this one right here it is super super beautiful these are the kind of shades i love to wear i mean if you have followed me here i love these kind of shades this is a really nice warm taupe kind of a color with a little hint of brown it's really really pretty it looks very nice on the eyes so yeah definitely i will recommend this a lot of mattes in here to play with as well oh okay, guys so those are the five top palette recommendations i have for you today in this category i of course have more palettes but if i have to choose five from them these are the top five i would choose uh, i hope this video was helpful do let me know which are your favorite neutral glam eyeshadow palettes for everyday use i'm also going to do uh, videos on warm toned eyeshadow palettes cool toned colorful so do stay tuned and also subscribe to my other channel where three of those videos will go live so i hope you like this video if you liked it then please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up that really really helps my channel a lot comment down below and uh, yeah if you haven't subscribed then do consider subscribing uh, to my channel thank you so much for watching i will see you again really really soon in my next video bye